Hello guys, welcome to part 4. Today we're going to do wall climbing and taunts. Um, let's start with taunts first. That's actually really easy. Taunts are really easy to code. Uh, first of all, you, you can make as many taunts as you want. Uh, the script I'll show you is customizable uh, to how many taunts you have. So you can have like a thousand taunts. I don't know if you have the sanity to make that much, but anyways. Um, if it's not already obvious, you're going to have to make your own animations for the taunts and uh, get the IDs. So one thing about making the animation, the first thing you want to do, you want to enable loops. Uh, second thing you want to do, you want to make the animation priority action, action, okay? Third thing you want to do, make sure there's more than one keyframe inside your animation like this. Uh, do not, do not do this. Make sure there's more than one keyframe. Because the animation like might not play if you don't. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm not going to spend that much time making animations. So so for me, it's only gonna have two two taunts in the video. You can you can make as much as you want. Okay. Um. So once you're done doing that, doing that, uh, you can see inside of the inside of the mock input script, uh, we now have a folder called taunts. Inside of it, taunt one and taunt two. Well, this taunt one and taunt two, right? They all have different animation IDs. Uh, this one's different, and this one's different. Okay. So, make sure your animation is correct. Uh, a lot of people will confuse the rig types. So, if your rig type is R6, make sure your taunt is R6. So, so you know how on Pizza Tower, when you taunt, there's like a white thing around your player? Let's quickly do that right now. Uh, let's go inside a rig. Um, let's, let's make the particle effect first. Just always uh, particle emitter. Uh, let's make the size 5. Okay. Um, Let's make it emit lights like this. This is pretty cool, actually. Um, let's make. First of all, let's make the rate very slow. Let's make the speed zero. Uh, actually, it does not look that. Actually, looks pretty cool. Um, I think this is a pretty good lifetime. But let's also try. To, let's also disable. Let's add, actually disable this particle. Make sure it's disabled here, okay? Um, inside of here, you could probably do sh uh, sphere and lock to part. Yeah, let's enable lock to part. And then now, if we enable this, it should. Actually, I kind of want to make the size bigger. Let's make seven. Seven. That, that's pretty good. So we want to name this particle emitter taunt. Make sure you make sure it's disabled. Um, I'm gonna put this inside replicated storage. Now you want to go inside, go inside your macOS script, and we're gonna copy and paste this. Oops. And put it here. I'm gonna name this one taunt particle, and name this one original taunt particle, and this one taunt particle. Uh, and we want to go up here, copy and paste this, name this one original taunt particle, and uh, our particle emitter is called just called taunt. So we're gonna do that, okay? Now the taunt, uh, basically we created the taunt, we created the animations and the script. For the script, we just put the taunt inside of the human, uh, human's humanoid root part so uh, the client can access it and stuff like that. So let's actually make it now. Let's see if input began. So in Pizza Tower, taunting is C, so let's make it C in this game too. Okay, if input begin function key. Uh, let's also make a debounce. So local taunt debounce equals true. Um, if key dot key code equals enum dot key code dot c and um, taunt debounce equals true, then we are going to first of all we're going to make the taunt debounce false. Uh, Oh yeah, and we also play the taunt animation. So local animation equals 
human way. Did we even? No, we didn't. Okay. Because script apparent humanoid load animation script way for child taunts um, way for child taunts wait a second oh okay local animations equals gonna copy paste this actually when I copy and paste this um, we're going to get children the children here and local animation Equals, um, wait, 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 we don't need this, uh, remove this, remove this, remove this too, okay, now equals load animation, animations, and, oops, and over here, map, dot random, the minimum is one, maximum is, um, how many taunts you have. Okay, pay attention to this part. This part is how many taunts you have. So for me, I only have two taunts. So I'm gonna put this as two. Okay, uh, you can put this as many as you want. Okay, and now um, we're gonna repeat wait until animation dot length is more than zero. Uh, and then animation. Wait, 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 wait. Animation uh, play task dot delay. Let's make it last one second. The the taunt function uh, taunt e bounce equals true. Uh, animation stop. Uh, and that's all. We also have to make the particle effect for the taunt. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we are going to go into the particle. We're gonna go to particle, um, and we're gonna to this move equals taunt. Then um, let's see player character that humanoid move part before child taunt. Uh, emit one, and I think that's literally all we have to do. Oh yeah, and also player dot character dot humanoid root part dot anchor equals true. Task dot delay one function player dot character. Humanoid root part that anchored equals false, and uh, we're gonna go back to mock inputs and going to go to the the taunt, and we're going to do and we're gonna put it here, and we're gonna name this one taunt. Okay. Also, I want uh, it to emit five instead of one, so it's like. So it's like more full, and also um, I'm gonna go back to mock input, and we're gonna also make the animation a priority. Uh, we're gonna actually make it animation. We're gonna actually make it uh, action four. Because we want the taunts to play oh, like over the mock run. Also, I it, guys, here's a really cool thing. It's just not a pizza tower, but it's really, really, really cool. Um, you can go in size, and you can change this, and it'll basically it, the, the size of the particle is gonna change over time if you like change that. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. You don't have to do that if you want to keep the original pizza tower look, but that's just gonna, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. You can also make the size smaller if you want. Uh, I think size is a little too big right now. Also on mock input, I added this line. Oh, well, these three lines right after uh, this. Uh, so basically, that just um, it makes the animation not interfere with the other animations. And uh, I'm gonna actually edit this part out because I, I want to make more than two taunts. Because you know, I I want my game to look cool too. 
So, see. hello guys. Um, so now we're gonna be doing the mo mock running up a wall. So this is gonna work like this, okay? Um, you can only wall climb if you are mock running, and if you're if you jump onto the wall. Like if you bump into the wall, you won't be wall climbed. Second thing, um, you can also wall climb by going up a ramp. Which is a wedge, which is a wedge part. You can insert a wedge part by going to part and clicking on wedge. Okay, so now time for the coding. Okay, first thing we did uh, in mock input, you can see um, in mock input, you can see we now have a new variable called shifting and it's set to false. So you should probably do that right now. Okay. Um, we put shifting to true and sh shifting to false over here shifting to false over here shifting to false over here and I think that's all the shifting is false is we have a lot of stuff you have to write in at the very bottom of the mock input script you're going to like beneath this you're gonna want to put local wall equals nil uh, all these okay this just slows the animation of the wall climb this because the humanoid root part and this sets the priority to action before and it's loop okay the floor I'll explain the floor later so I actually got some of the script from uh, a YouTube channel from this uh, you can see the YouTube channel in the description but I I changed it a lot to match uh, what we needed today uh, over here so and here is the script we put below here so uh, you can also go in the pastebin in the description for the script okay so first we have the run service right every frame this happens uh, and also this very long line over here um, I'll show it to you guys later not now not now um, this gets the raise this one the text if there's a wall uh, in front of you this one the text if there's ground beneath you and we don't actually need this. We, we don't need this. I, I just use this to help me with my coding. So if um, you're a wall, if you're a wall, uh, I mean mock, mock running, and there's a wall in front of you, it wants to check if you're in the air first. So this is the script to check if you're in the air, and it'll also check if you're uh, if. If you're standing on top of a wedge, if you are, it'll do the same thing. Basically, just put this just plays the animation, and also make sure your rig types are the same when you animate the the wall climb, because you have to animate the wall climb. Um, velocity stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, remember, you can look in the paste bin for this. You see that big line? Okay. And in the mock run, uh, as a child, uh, I also have wall climb as an animation here, uh, inside of here, okay? Remember, the script is is in the paste bin, um, if you want it. And yeah, that's basically it for this tutorial. Uh, next tutorial, I'll, uh, I already know what to do, so yeah.